Welcome to another video on using uh, UMPL, the Model Oriented Programming Languages. In this episode, we're going to learn how to uh, compile and run the automated tests for UMPL from the command line using ant. So the first thing we're going to do is get ant installed, and we're actually going to show two ways to install it. One is assuming that ant already exists on your machine, and the other does not. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate the UMPL uh, online source code repository. We are hosted at Google Code. So if we do a Google Code search for UMPL, and if we search for UMPL directly, we should find it as well. It's not quite at the top, but this is our source code repository, and the downloads page is what we care about. You'll see that there are two Ant-related files, and like I said, the first time we're installing this is going to be on a Mac OS X, which comes uh, prepackaged with Ant. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the Ant contributions file. This is simply a project that adds additional functionality to Ant, some of which the UMPL project is making use of. We're going to show this in the Finder. We'll extract the tar and we'll see that it's nothing more than some documentation about the project itself. We care most about the uh, jar itself that contains the libraries for us to use. I'm going to drag this to my home directory for easy use on the command line. And now we're going to switch over to terminal to get it installed. Like I said, the first way we're going to install ant is assuming it already exists. So if we do a which ant, we will see that indeed it already exists, but we need to know where it exists. And so here, we're actually going to take a closer look at ant to see where it's pointing to. So you'll notice that ant is actually installed under user share ant. So within here we see a library directory, and that's where we want to copy our uh, contribution uh, jar. So we will do a uh, pseudo copy, and it's going to be a contrib jar, and we're going to do it into the directory. I'll type in my long and secure password. Done. So now let's take a look, and we'll see. Now it's installed. It was just that easy. From here, we can actually go and compile UMPL. So you need to go to where you've downloaded the UMPL source. This will be different for each machine. The core project has branches, tags, trunks, and the wiki. We're going to take a look at the trunk, and in particular the build directory. From here, we have ant running with a variable which we use the minus capital D and then we just specify my environ and this is the different types of builds we support local builds uh, builds for releases and our cruise control build so here we'll do a local build this is going to run through it's going to make a new version of umpl available for itself it's going to recompile itself because umpl is written in umpl to ensure that all the tests still pass and it's going to take about uh, two to three minutes depending on the speed of your machine now I'm actually going to take a step back and uh, show you how to install Ant on a Linux-based machine where you don't actually have Ant installed by default. So I'm going to open up a new terminal window. I'm going to go back to the downloads. We have the Ant contribs, but what we're missing now is actual Ant itself. So we're going to grab the latest. Uh, the 181 version of Ant. If you are using 182, that is fine, as it comes packaged with uh, with Mac OS 10. Once this downloads, same idea. We're going to extract it. We're going to put it somewhere we know about, and then for advanced users, we're going to update our um, environment path so that way we can just type Ant and make it work. So we're going to extract the file. Now this time, it's a full project and we need this full project. We need this ant 
to be available. Where you want to actually place this is a personal preference. What we will do is I will move this Apache Ant again into my home environment so from the terminal we can move it around to where we'd like. So without presenting any bias, I'm actually going to link it from a local directory. So we're going to go into, we will move it into my source directory, but again, this step is optional to you. So we're going to move Apache Ant into source. So now, if we take a look, we've got Apache Ant 181 here. And the next step is we're going to actually edit, and I'm assuming that you're using Bash, our Bash profile, and we're going to add in a new line. And this new line is going to export our path. And in particular, we're going to add to the path users. So this will be your path. And then from here, we're going to say source Apache Ant 181 slash bin. And we don't want to forget to keep all the additional path on it. So your bash profile might look much different, but the important part is we want it on the path, so when we type ant, it will just work. So from here we will save this file. We will double check that that path was indeed correct. So it's users a forward source, and then it is Apache ant 181. We will uh, refresh our bash, or simply we'll close out the bash and we'll open up a new one. So now we should be able to say ant minus v, and it should say our 181. The next step is similar to the first step is we need to get that contribs into the lib directory. So here, we're going to take a look, and our contrib jar is still there. So we're simply going to copy it into source apache ant 181 lib um, and we forgot to type in ant contrib so we're going to copy ant contrib into the source apache lib directory and now we can actually take a look under source apache ant lib and we'll just filter it out for ant contrib and we'll see it's installed and now we can build like we did before we're gonna go to the project home this again path will be specific to your environment we want to go into the trunk and then into the build now the first build is finished there and so the second build my environment equals local And there we go. We have Ant installed, and we have uh, the build machine running, which will create Ant as well as test Ant. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy developing with Umple.